Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This time it's all about wires, big metal poles and most importantly, electrification. There's no doubt about it, real projects are challenging, time consuming and most notably, expensive. And the Fi Circle is no exception. With the majority of the line being constructed between 1847 and 1890 and the line being almost 200 years old, the track and infrastructure are clearly not up to today's standards. Most average line speeds on the coastal section between Dalgetty Bay and Kinghorn rarely break 70 miles per hour, and the top line speed is 90 miles per hour on the straightest sections of line possible. On top of the dated routing of the Faust Circle causing trouble, the rolling stock used in the line isn't adequate either. ScotRail operates four trains per hour, both northbound and southbound, usually driving smaller consists. Two to four, rarely six car class 158s, three to six car class 170s, and a class 170 plus class 158 sort of mashup. This might sound alright for a semi busy commuter line, but that's far from the case. The majority of services between two to four coaches at peak times mean either standing room only or no room at all. This is where electrification comes into play. In June of 2022, the Scottish Government invested £55 million and gave their green light for network rail and SPL power lines to commence work on this rolling programme. This project is split up into four phases. Phase 1, Haymarket to Dalmeny. Phase 2, Kinghorn to Thornton Junction. Phase 3, Thornton to Loch Gelly. And Phase 4, Thornton to Ladybank. An additional section to be electrified which was not listed is the Thornton to Leven branch which opened on the 2nd of June 2024 as part of the Leven Mouth Rail Link. If you know the route well, you might notice that the whole route hasn't been mentioned for electrification, and that is on purpose. The Scottish Government are looking to undertake a partial approach by electrifying sections of the line that are easier to build upon and leaving trickier or more expensive portions for a later date. How will an electric train run with only some sections with overhead wires, you may ask? The answer, batteries. ScotRail is looking to replace some of its older fleet with more efficient and economical battery electric multiple units, or BEMU for short. These trains will allow the gaps to be bridged by running under wires and being able to switch to battery mode after the wires run out. The Fi Circle will be one of, if not the first line to take advantage of this newly developed technology. However, ScotRail has not released any articles on these BMU trains, and it isn't looking likely that these trains will appear on the network anytime soon. Installing piles along the line between Dalmeny and Edinburgh Gateway stations have been complete a few months after the project had begun but unfortunately, that seemed to be all network rail had complete. Upon my few personal visits to various locations along the line, there was very little change or improvement to the amount of piles or poles in the ground, and it felt like it had been abandoned. Later on, it was announced that the Fife electrification project had been paused due to an ongoing refresh of a decarbonisation action plan. As well as the Fi Circle being electrified, there was also the Barhead and East Cope Ride lines which were being electrified in the same time period. Some users on Twitter suspect that most of the workforce were being prioritised on the Glasgow based projects rather than the rural Fife route. This would have explained the lacklustre improvement, however this has not been confirmed. The Bar Head line was fully wired up in December 2023 and the East Cope Ride line is currently closed pending full electrification in the coming months. Around the end of December 2024, I decided to have a dig around social media and the internet to look for signs of improvement. My research pointed towards an abundance of work being done around October to December of 2024. As of January 2025, there seems to have been a marginal improvement. More than half of the line has been piled and dozens of poles have been assembled along the line.
I'd say the most noticeable changes are over here around Haymarket West Junction, where several double cantilevers are present around a curve onto South Guile. Unfortunately, this does not last long as the mass end just after the line straightens out. Now we're on the section of line between Edinburgh Gateway and Edinburgh Airport. Here we can see a mix of bare piles and armed poles with droppers. Sadly, on the long straight of track which passes Edinburgh Airport, there is no electrification mass yet, only bare piles. The Fife electrification project is certainly not complete, and it won't be for many years to come. The original December 2025 completion date was already ambitious, but delays, budgeting issues and mismanaged resourcing led to the ultimate concoction for pushback. When will the project be complete? It's hard to tell. There is no solid answer or evidence which points to a specific time frame. I think 2025 will prove to be an enduring year for Network Rail as they seem to be finally getting their head down and grafting. The estimate I will happily give is between 2026 and 2027. In an article by therailengineer.co.uk, it is said that, quote, the five circle electrification development work was continuing and that its required feeder station would be operational in 2026. But just in case, it would be wise to add an extra year of leeway. Thank you everyone so much for watching. This is my first semi-long form documentary video on the channel, and I really enjoy making it. If you managed to make it to the end, I really appreciate it, and I hope you're as enthusiastic about this feat of engineering as I am. Make sure to comment your facts, thoughts, and opinions down below, and thank you again so much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.